Okay, so hi everyone, how are you? So uh, today I will be telling you one question that has been asked from me in Angel 1. Let me share it with you. So the question is that I want to find out those employees, those employees whose salary is greater than 10% of their previous year salary. salary. So let me give you an overview of my table, how my table was looking like or what are the things that are there in my table. So they haven't provided me the data set, but let me tell you like what they actually told me to do it. So in my table, I have, let's say, three columns, employee name, then I have year and then I have their salary. Okay. So there is one employee, let's say Akash. Year is, let's say 2021. Salary is, let's say 100 rupees. I'm just taking an example. Uh, then we have, let's say Somya. Year is same, 2021, let's say. Salary is 200. Then Akash again. Year is 2022. Salary is, let's say, 150. Then we have Somme also. It's also 2022. And the salary is 205. Then we have Akash again. Akash again. So this is the sal the year is 2023. And the salary is, let's say, 155 okay so let's say this is the table that i have okay i have given you an example we have taken a simple example right now so what i did so what my overview was so i was thinking to use lag why so let me tell you so for example i'm selecting everything and i'm lagging and taking my column i want to perform lag in my salary column so i'm taking salary over then on the basis of what first i will do on the basis of partition by employee name and order by year. From my table, let's say this is my employees table. So what it will do, if I will just take a lag column, we'll make a new table so that you will get to know what I will get with this result. So by using lag, what will I get? So as I have done partition by employee name, so I will get Akash three times. Akash, Akash, Akash. Then I will get Soumya, Soumya. And I have, I have done order by year in ascending order because I haven't written ascending. So by default, it will be ascending only. No? So 2021, 2022, 2023. Then similarly, 2021 and 2022. Then we have a salary column. So our salary was 100 before. Then in 2022, it become 150. Then in 2023, it become 155. 2021, 200. And then we have 205. Okay. Now I have just made a lag column, right? Let's give it a alias as LG. Just giving you an example, we have taken the alias as LG now. So what lag does, lag will take the below number, right? So 100 will become, for 100, I will get null. Because it will take the number above, for 150, it will be 100. And for 155, it will be 150. Correct? For this also, it will be same, null. And for here, it will be 200, correct? Now, what will I do after this? Now, I will compare these two values together. Now, what will I say that? I will just save it in my CTE. I will write with CTE as command V. And I will save it there, giving the alias as LG only. And I say that I want to have all the values from CTE. Or you can say, I want to have all the employee names. 
employee names from CTE where my salary, like this column, where my salary should be what? Should be greater than or equals to my lag salary into 1.10. Why I did 1.10? Let me explain you that. So as they said that you want to have everything, uh, every salary that is greater than 10%, correct? You want to have those employees whose salary is greater than 10% from their last year. So to get that last year, the la lag is the last year one. Na? So we have that. But what is why we did 1.10, not only 10. Okay. So if I do 10, if I did it like that, lag into 10. So what that means? That you are taking 10. You are multiplying your lag salary into 10. And will that be possible? Always 1000 and 1500 will be greater, right? So that will make no sense. By mistake that you must be thinking it's 10%. So we should multiply it by 0 0.10. Right? But that means you are taking only 10% part of your lag salary. So 10% part of that will be 10 only. Na? But we don't want that. We want it to increase by 10%. That means... 100 plus 10. That's what I mean. So it will be 110. If you increase by 10%, that means you are increasing 110%. You want this to increase 110 times, right? And if I will take out the percentage 110 divided by 100, it will be what? It will be 1.10. So that's why I have multiplied it with this. I hope you get that. So that's what I did. So and I will get my answer also. So I want you guys to try it yourself also in your server. I will provide you insert and create syntax also in the description box. And do let me know if you have any co uh, confusion in the chat box itself. So that we can clear it out on our next video. Thank you.